Hey guys, Jake here with Two Dudes Reviews, and I am going to be bringing a Let's Play slash review for the brand new DLC expansion of uh, Secrets of the Maw for Little Nightmares. So I'm going to be playing this for uh, probably, I'll break it into two parts I'm going to do probably. Uh, this is the hideaway I believe, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. Uh, this is probably going to be about an hour, 45 minutes, depending on how long the DLC is. I know the other one that I did was about an hour long, uh, and that's if I don't die at all. <laughs> so we'll see how well that goes. Uh, as, also, as you can tell, I'm using a new headset. This is the uh, LG G430 headset, and I'm also using the standard uh, Rode Mic Pro uh, through the camera just in case the audio doesn't come very well through here uh, but I'm going to also be testing this out the first thing I'm going to mention about it is it uses an analog mic and uh, head headset headphones to USB to create a 7.1 surround sound and we're going to see how that sounds so let's fire this up real quick Loom Nightmares uh, what I can see from the trailer for this looks to be like uh, the hideaway is just it's the deep dark part of the maw that you pretty much see throughout the whole games but I think like the last one uh, was called the depths there was the water uh, element added to it I think this one has uh, an element actually I'm not even positive it's got an actual element to it uh, you know like uh, physical element like fire, water, wind, stuff like that. I think this might just be some of the standard stuff. But let us know in the comments section whether or not you have played this game. I really enjoyed it. It's very fun, very dark and brooding, but very uh, adult-like and cartoony at the same time. So I enjoy it on several levels. Uh, one thing that I won't give it credit for is sometimes it's too dark. Uh, but not like in a a metaphysical sense, I guess. More so in just like the level design is a little too dark and kind of grays itself out. We'll see about that changed in this DLC or not. I could never figure out if this like meat that they're bringing in, the monsters, if they're gonna eat it or their dead bodies or what. Ow. Ooh. That's gonna leave Mark. And he's dead. End of the story. It's good to see the gnome is back. That's something different. I think they were kind of there in the last DLC, but they were a big part of the original game. What the hell did I just trip over? Get out of here. You bastards, I need to get through that door. Yeah! That did not work. Can I climb up? No? Open the door. You can do it. I don't think I'd do that.
Let me in, I want in. That's me throwing shit out of the spite. Ah! Hey, come back! You're stuck. It's like Winnie the Pooh. Grab him. Sometimes you just have to show him love. And then you can throw him and throw him at doors and shit to open it. Thank you. And see, I help you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Huzzah! gonna let this gnome out if I throw you up here? No, you're just gonna stand there. Oh, you're gonna p push it over for me. Doesn't look like it. What the hell is your point? Where's the other one go? He can help me. Are you in here? Other gnome? Other gnome! Where are you? I need your help. Where'd that entrance go? Oh, there, it's over here. Go, go out of there. Can I not go back out? Oh, there it is. Other gnome! Other gnome! Damn it. Maybe it's still left in that room. Need your help. Maybe that wasn't the same one. Thank you. Now push that box over so I can get up there and unlock the other one. Ah, God, don't crush me. I'm a hugger, but damn. Hey, come on, guys. I need your help. Hey, you dude. You hiding back here? Help me open the door. Help me, you son of a bitch. What are you doing over there? Hey, come on. Everybody needs help. Thank you. There we go. God, you guys are slow. They all look like little clansmen. And no, I do not <laughs> support the clan. God. Come here, gnomes. I'm assuming gnomey. No me, no me, no me, no me, no me. That looks a fire. Hey, there's another gnome. That's right, you guys get to work. Thank you. I do appreciate your hard work, though. Oh. I thought that door would open. Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. Come here, gnome! Are you hiding from me? You bastard. Get back here.
Now I throw you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before he gets away. Now let's go deposit him into slavehood. That's right. The clan are now slaves. Just like it should be. Sorry. That, that was like, what the fuck was he talking about? Go to work. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have a... Oh shit. I have a ladder for me to go to. <laughs> and I... Oh, I was gonna say, I think I just died. Don't die that easily. Is clearly out. Nah, shit. Broken glass probably means. Uh, nah, shit. What was his name? It's a monster from the original game. Uh, oh, that's right. Daddy Long Arms. I think that was what his name is. That's what I'm gonna call him anyway. Stay very, very quiet. God, that was like a horrible Elmer Fudd. I look like Elmer Fudd, but I don't know if I sound like him or not. Move along. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I thought he was gonna, like, walk to the right. Instead, he just stopped been turned back around. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's a set of stairs over here. That are like wine bottle cabinet things. Oh, there's stairs. <laughs> oh shit. Time to run. Jump. Shit, I almost fell off. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, I think there's a stool in here. I think the farthest one there, I think I can climb up that. I think I can climb up the middle one.
This game's got me paranoid, apparently. No, I thought I heard water running. I was like, what the fuck? <sighs> Swain. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that hurt. If that fall at the beginning wasn't going to leave Mark, that definitely will. Till it's there, you go. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, phew. <laughs> I was like, I missed my grab. Yeah, there we go. Cliffhanger, that bitch. Now, that's a very underrated movie. Everyone, like, just remembers like the, uh, the spoof of it. What? What was it that they spoofed that on? I think it was Weird Al. Then I'm thinking of was it UHF, or was UHF too old to be spoofing? That is a dead battery. Or, not battery, but like a light. Is it a battery, I guess? Battery with a light attached to it? He grabbed me through the goddamn desk. That doesn't even make any sense. <sighs> well, next time I guess I need to be a little more of a creeper. Do the creep, yeah. Do the creep, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I apologize for bad jokes. You son of a bitch, go away. Might have to restart this. I don't know how long it's gonna take before it just leaves me alone. <laughs> I didn't wait long enough. Throw a pack of that thing. Just gonna go hide in here. What the fuck? Seriously. All right, so I'm just gonna restart from checkpoint because otherwise. I'm just gonna have to sit there and keep listening to him coming back at me or I wait for 20 fucking minutes for him to go away. Uh, update on this headset. Uh, my head is really hot right now and it's not really as comfortable as I'd hoped. My Turtle Beach that I used with my Xbox that I was using before I started filming with this headset. Uh, was a lot more comfy, actually. Oh. 
damn it! I was like, don't touch him! Don't touch him! <laughs> ah. Alright, so, I'm gonna get this thing back. Uh, let's see, I've been going for about 20 minutes now. I'll go for another 10 minutes, and then we'll, uh... I'll switch off. Hopefully in that 10 minutes, I'll actually get past this son of a bitch. And this time, actually... Touching and reaching. I'm gonna wait till he's done. Jopey, go away. Go away, go lay down. Troy, right. you're gonna get in trouble for. Oh, fuck. How did he grab me through it? I don't understand how he grabbed me through it. Doesn't make any sense. Poor Sophie, now she's all pissed off at me. Sorry, Sophie! Now she's gonna come back here and I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna be an asshole. Run, 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 run. <laughs> That's alright. I already made it there. I should be good. Whew. Should have did that from the beginning, shouldn't I have? Like a boss! Gnomes, you can't hide from me forever. I know you're around here somewhere. One of them is clearly in here. Oh no, two of you are. He just jumped right in my arms. That was very sweet. This son of a bitch gonna make me chase him, isn't he? I think three. So there might be another one. Wow, that was lucky. That was like freaking Spider Man. Spider Man! Spider Man! Does whatever a uh, uh, gnome hunting machine thing can. Can I, can I go farther? Ah, I think I was supposed to push that thing first. Get away from me, gnomes. Get away from me, swan! God damn it. There we go. Okay. Now I can jump up there. You know, I think what, rem what this game reminds me of is like a... As weird as it sounds, uh, do you guys remember the book and movie called The Borrowers? That's what it reminds me of, I think. With the tiny people? I don't know why. It's just... You're jumping around all these, uh, large tables and whatnot. God damn it. I think I'm supposed to push it a little farther. Why can I not? I'm gonna jump. 
there. It's like, I can't jump. What the hell's going on here? Mechanics of this game are a little wonky sometimes. Not really uh, impossible. Just sometimes it just provides an extra step that you probably shouldn't have to take. Yeah, I think the, the last gnome is just right there. Wait till it falls, but there we go. Okay, now everybody gets to follow me. Alright, so I got two of them. Alright, there's the third one. Y'all, y'all fall on me. There you are. Come on. All three of you. throw you up here. That's where it's a longer one. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, come on, gnomes. Yeah, now you're staying up there. Last time it dropped almost instantly. Okay, let's go. Let me guess, I'm gonna have to throw you up there too. You can't jump. Two goddamn in centimeters. Meanwhile, you're always hiding on some freaking bookcase or whatnot. Doesn't make any sense. Like they just fell out of the sky into the bookcase. Alright. Three more gnomes to put into slave servitude or indentured servitude. They finally found their way in. Maybe you will? Yeah. Now I got a whole army and a whole workforce. Um, up there is going to be the next place, I think. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I think I will actually... Now we're at the 30-minute mark. We're at the 30-minute mark. Sorry about that. Um... I'm going to go ahead and stop, and we'll pick up for part two next time. And again, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoy these type of videos. Uh, even if you don't, let me know. Uh, if you play Little Nightmares, let me know if you enjoyed the game. If you have played this DLC, let me know how you enjoyed it. I feel like I'm probably halfway done at this point because it seems to be split into two parts. We'll see. It might be even longer than that. So this might end up being a three-part series. But anyway, thanks again for watching. I'm Jake from Two Dudes Reviews, and see you next time.